How's it going there, Central New York? Looking live here with our Poppy camera. Uh, a good looking view. And uh, yeah, it's a little cloudy here uh, from the hills south of Syracuse. But um, to the uh, left of that shot, you'd see a little clearing. And that sunshine and clearing is headed into the Syracuse area over the next hour, hour and a half. Look at Drivers Village. It's got an eye camera to the west of Syracuse. And you can see a good deal of sun, just some high clouds here and there. Uh, filtering the sun a bit. And that is it. Looks really, really nice and is feeling better as well the farther south and west you go of Syracuse. Getting warmer. Visible satellite showcasing just that. The clouds, Syracuse area, northeastbound, right? Okay. Ahead of a warm front. Got a warm front over western New York into the southwestern part of the state right now. You see the sun to the west, more in the way of high and mid level clouds just west of Buffalo, and you get into the central lakes and thicker clouds, and that will move in this evening. But I think much of the afternoon is going to turn into a pretty decent looking afternoon with some sun developing again over the next couple of hours across many parts of central New York. Clouds will hang on longer and for probably much of the afternoon east of Lake Ontario. Uh, temperature wise, right now we're hugging around 50, all right, across most areas. Mid 50s, Skinny Atlas, Cortland, a little warmer, 60, about Ithaca, Penyan, and Rochester. Look at Buffalo in the mid 60s. 24 hour temperature change. We're a good 5 to 10 degrees warmer, Syracuse northeastbound compared to this time yesterday. But look at Western New York, almost 20 degrees warmer, Rochester, Penyan. Buffalo, Jamestown, 25 to 30 degrees warmer than they were this time yesterday. Yes, you can see where the warm front is. It is out here, okay, like so. So Buffalo into the warmer air, and it's even warmer. Look at Cleveland, Toledo, Chicago. They're going to work it in their way into the 80s during this afternoon, like summer. Don't think the core of the warm air gets here, but it will turn warmer over the next 24 hours. Look here at your today forecast. I'm thinking mid 60s, all right, mid to upper 60s, Syracuse area, maybe touching 70. We get enough sun this afternoon. Best chance for 70 or better. Auburn, Seneca Falls, Waterloo, Geneva, Penyan, and Ithaca. Maybe folks in Homer. See live Doppler 9, most areas quiet, just a couple of spotty sprinkles near 81 there, just east of Mexico, a little spotty light shower just east of Camden and Florence as well, and that is it. It's, supposed to, it's going to be pretty quiet as we head through the rest of today. Got the, again, this warm front to the southwest, so try to work its way in tonight with this area of low pressure approaching from the west. And there's the potential for a few showers, maybe a thunder shower as we go through the night tonight. Look here at your timecast, and you can see... We're quiet the rest of this afternoon with some sunshine evolving. As we go into tonight, more clouds. Could be a few showers, maybe a thunder shower, especially north of Syracuse, a little wave of low pressure. Uh, temperatures tonight, mild 50s for most of us for lows. Tomorrow, it's a quiet start with maybe a little sun. We warm into the 60s and low 70s by midday. But look, a round of showers, maybe a couple of gusty storms move in after one or two in the afternoon, early evening time frame with an area of low pressure. In the wake of it, we turn cooler. Severe weather risk between about one and five tomorrow. Best chances for uh, a stronger storm, which could feature a little bit of hail and high winds. That is your main threats with those storms tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast showing cooler with some rain likely here developing on Thursday. Showers and even cooler on Friday. Looks quiet and cool to start the weekend, Dan.